Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? There are five people connected, right? Welcome on board. Let's begin. Good evening. This is the English for Work program, beginner four. Welcome to your English class. Today is Monday, October the, the 9th. This is class 16. Tonight, we're going to be working on accounting vocabulary. Accounting vocabulary. <clears throat> this is the general objective. This is the specific objective. And this is the class objective. Participants will be able to describe financial activities correctly. And this is the agenda. Pronunciation, <clears throat> vocabulary, accounts, so, and so much, I mean, so and such. And then we're going to finish talking about concept. Okay, basically that's the idea. Now, but before we start, let's go to the attendance. Alan Antonio Ramirez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening, Blanca. Good evening. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Okay. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez. Isela Guadalupe Martínez, Gladys Rubidia Nieto, Jonathan Stanley Pérez, José Daniel Cermeño, José Ernesto Alemán. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Kendi Natalia Sánchez, Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla, Mario Germán González, Present. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortez. Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. And Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Okay. Present teacher. Excellent. Teacher. Present teacher. Yes, Jonathan. Okay. Good, good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Welcome on board. We are ready on board. Yeah, you are ready on board. Excellent. So, Let's begin. We're going to begin talking about pronunciation. Maybe you remember last week we studied the, the verbs in the past, right? We studied the, the verbs in the past last week, so we're going to be working on, on that. Okay. We're going to be practicing pronouncing this washed, cleaned, showed, created, needed, planned, commented, frustrated, visited, protested, liked, and adopted. 
So I washed my car yesterday afternoon. Betty cleaned the table a few minutes ago. Sonia showed me some funny pictures a few minutes ago. Jack created a new line of clothes for old people. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Wrote Jesse planned to wait for you after work. Charlie commented that he felt so frustrated at work. Edward visited Sylvia at her apartment yesterday. They protested about the high prices of food. We like the new ideas adopted by our general manager. Okay, so this is the pronunciation. And uh, <clears throat> we continue practicing uh, providing the past tense of these verbs. Begin, began, break, broke, bring, brought, buy, bought, etc. It's so going to be writing the past tense of this, okay? So these two things you're going to be doing in the groups, okay, right now. Thank you very much for coming in early, one. Number two, also, uh, thank you for completing the platform. Most of you have completed the platform. That's excellent. Now, this week, we need to finish on the final exam. The final exam needs to be completed uh, by Thursday. So <clears throat> anyhow, whatever we we study, the, the things that we study, the things that are new end uh, on Thursday. So Friday is review. So you can do the, the final exam. There are some people that have already started the, the final exam. Some of them have the 70%, which is great, okay? Congratulations on working on that. Okay, now having said that, let's go to the groups, breakout groups. And there are going to be only two groups because we're only 12 people. The groups are opening. Please join. Practice the pronunciation of the sentences in the past and then provide the past tense of the verb. Okay? Please join. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening, friends. Okay. Aníbal, ¿qué tal? Hi. Hi. Do you see the screen? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. I can. I can you me. started the reel. <laughs> I can see I can see him, uh, Daniel. Okay. Puede estar. Sí, usted, usted, Aníbal. Empieza. Ah. <ríe> sorry, sorry. Ah, ok. okay. <ríe> I watched my car yesterday afternoon. Betty cleaned the, the table a few minutes ago. Sonia showed show me, 
some funny picture a few minutes ago that created a new light of clouds for all people. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Jesse planned to wait for you after work. Charlie, Charlie commented that they felt so frustrated at work. Edward visited, visited Sylvia at her apartment yesterday. They pro protested about the high prices of, of food. We liked the new ideas adopted by our, our general manager. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yes. I watched my car yesterday afternoon. Betty cleaned the table a few minutes ago. Sonia showed me some funny picture a few minutes ago. Jet created a new line of clothes for our people. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Jesse planned to wait for you after work. Charlie commented that he felt so frustrated at work. Edward visited Sylvia at her apartment yesterday. They protested about the high price of food. We like the new ideas adopted by our general manager. Next. Uh, Mario. Okay, Mario. I washed my car yesterday afternoon. Very clean the table a few minutes ago. Sonia showed, uh, showed me uh, some funny pictures a few minutes ago. Jack, cre Jack create a new line of clothes for all people. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Jesse planned to wait to to wait for you after work. Charlie comment uh, that he feels so frustrated at work. Edward visited Sylvia at her apartment yesterday. They protested about the high prices of food. We liked the new areas adopted by our general manager. Okay, thank you, Mario. Edgar, Mario Cristóbal y Mauricio. This is Silvia. And uh, here, apartment yesterday they protested about the high protested pressure of food mm -hmm. like the new idea adopted by our general manager adopted 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 mm -hmm. adopted yeah thank you teacher Mm -hmm. Protested, adopted. Mm -hmm. okay. Protested. When there are two, <clears throat> like you have here, frustrated, frustrated. But when yeah. here you can say traded because it is vowel. T vowel, but when there are like um, an S before the T, you cannot do that. You have to say protested and adopted. The only one that people use like commented, some people say commented, but no, commented, commented is better. Land, uh, the, the one that they use like wanted because it's very popular, but commented, normally commented. Okay, you may move to the next exercise. Sorry. 
Sergio, mueva la pantalla, por favor, de la próxima lámina. Thank you. Be gone. Be gone. Okay. Broke. 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 Bro. 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 G H T. Yeah, huh? Bro. 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 B O U G S T T C Bill Yes Yes Bill Igual T T T T Yeah Shoes Shows. Shows. At shows. One year, one O. Oh. Shows. Sin lao. No. Shows. Shows. Yes. Shows. Cook. 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 K A. Swans. C. Swans. 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 Yes. En, 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 Dance it. Dance it. Dance. Right. Broad. Broad. Red. Red. See? Mm. Two. The same. Mm. One. Okay. Yes. Move it. D. Finish. Move it. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Say salt. 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 It is eight. Eight. When? When? Drink it. Drunk. 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 Yes. Drunk. It's not wrong. Wrong. See? Okay. Yes. The last one. We have finished. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the main session. Okay, the chair.
Okay, there are 16 people out. Let's see. Began. What's the past tense of break? Broke. <clears throat> Broke. Broke. Past tense of bring? Broke. Brought. 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 <clears throat> Buy? Bought. 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 Build? Build. 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 Past tense of choose? Cook. 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 Swim. 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 Study. 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 Do. Did. Speak, 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 speak. <clears throat> spoke, 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 spoke is, you remember, right? <laughs> spoke, and it's a spoke, made, <laughs> made, and uh, the next one, what's dance. the next one? Dance, 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 dance. dance. Right, 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 read, red, 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 move, 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 sing, sound, 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 sound. Sing sang. L tone. Oh. Sell. Soul. 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 Eat. Eight. Eight. Go. Went. 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 Drink. Drink. Drunk. 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 Excellent. Well, one more time. Began, broke, brought, what? bought, built, chose, cooked, swam, studied, did, spoke, made, Danced, wrote, read, moved, sang, told, sold, ate, went, and drank. Okay, excellent. Now let's move to the vocabulary. Before we get to this, let's check the vocabulary here. Okay, there are some terms here. We're going to go from the beginning. Assets. What are the assets? The things that we have, okay? All the things that we have are the assets. Whether it is cash, right? Okay, it says uh, tangible, tangible, you can touch, you can have it there. Intangible is a, that is not that you cannot touch, right? It's not material. Like assets can include cash at the bank or accounts receivable, money that you will receive because the companies owe it to you. They will pay you. Okay, so that is re accounts receivable. Stock or inventory is the, the material that you have, 
whether they are furniture, uh, equipment, and also products, right? So the stock would be the products that you sell. Imagine that you sell computers. The stock will be all uh, the computers that you can sell. The new merchandise that you have, that you're going to sell, is a stock. In stock means ready, waiting to be sold. Okay, waiting for you to sell. Inventory, furniture, and all the stuff that you have. Okay. All of those are assets. Then liabilities. Liabilities are obligations that you have, such as loans or accounts payable. Payable means that you have to pay, okay? Like uh, the suppliers bring you the merchandise and you say, I will pay you next week. That is a liability. You have to pay that money, okay? So, okay, the difference between assets and liabilities, liabilities, assets, liabilities. Liabilities is that other people will pay you, right? Other people will pay you, assets. Liabilities, you have to pay, you pay, right? Whether you pay to a bank, for the money that they gave you for you to make an investment, or you pay the suppliers for the products that they bring. So those are liabilities, okay? Then equity, okay? So this is the difference between the total assets and the total liabilities of the company, the equity, okay? How much I have minus, minus how much I own. Okay, an example, just with small numbers for you to have an idea. Imagine that I have $20, but I have to pay $16. I have $20, I have to pay $16. What's my equity? $4. Right? That's my equity, $4. So that's the difference between the liabilities and the assets. Okay? So that would be uh, the equity. Income. Income is like the name says income, coming in, coming in, whether it is a salary for employees, right? The income is the salaries, the donations, uh, maybe, I don't know, the remittance. If you get remittance from the United States, remittance, not retable, right? Teacher remesa is retable. No, it's remittance, right? Not retable. So that is what uh, is also an income. Expenses. Okay, just to give you an idea, what are the expenses that we have at home? Can you tell me a, a, an idea what, what are the expenses that we have at home? We have to buy tortillas. The internet, my we home, telephone, food. internet. The telephone, internet, the electricity, the water bill, water bill, electric bill. Those are expenses. I spend my money on that, expenses, okay? Now, then we have profits. What's a profit? I'll give you an idea. <clears throat> Miguelito bought a cell phone. Miguelito bought a cell phone in $150. One of his friends saw the cell phone. And he liked it. Hey, I like your cell phone. Can you sell it to me? And Miguelito said, 
Yeah, $175. Uh, it's okay. And then they paid him $175. What's the profit? The difference between the money that he paid and the money that he received when he sold it, $25. Okay, I'm going to put here. Uh, I'm going to put here, I'll erase it later. Miguelito paid $150, right? He paid that, okay? Let me change the color. Miguelito paid $150 for the cell phone. He stole the phone in $100. $75. My friends, what's the difference from uh, 150 and 175? $25. $25. Mm -hmm. That is the profit. 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 Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's it, the, the profit, profit, profit. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you another example of profit. Um, I have $10. I have $10. I buy two liters, two liters of uh, No, I buy two bottles of water. The two bottles of water cost two two seventy. I think they cost right two seventy five each bottle. So that would be five fifty. Five dollars fifty cents. Two crystal bottles, bottles of water. Okay, he bought two, and he bought one hundred lemons for $2.50, $2.50 plus $5.50, $8, right, $8. And he bought sugar and he paid $5 for sugar. So that would be $13. He spent $13 in making the lemonade. He made a big container, ah, but he had to buy ice. He bought one dollar of ice. No, one dollar of ice, maybe. And he chopped it and he made the lemon. Okay. And he began selling lemon. 35 cents a glass of lemon. And at the end, he had, uh, let's say, he spent $13, right? No, $15, because he spent $2 of ice in ice. So, but at the end, he sold everything in $25. What's the profit? $10. Mm -hmm. $10. Of course. <laughs> The cost is fifteen dollars because he didn't he didn't need the electricity for that, and because he wasn't paying anybody, he didn't pay himself to make the lemon. Okay, so the lemonade cost the cost was fifteen dollars, but the total, I mean. Uh, what he sold it in was $25. So, yes, the profit is $10. Okay. Profit.
profit, $10. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, excellent. So, <clears throat> over here it says, this is the difference between income and expenses. It can be either positive, if it exceeds the expenses, or negative if it if it <clears throat> if it uh, if the expenses are greater than the income. I don't agree. Here I don't agree. If, what happens if <clears throat> just to say something? Uh, Aníbal spends $15. <clears throat> and he gets $12. He sells all the lemon, well, he doesn't sell all the lemonade, but he sells some of the lemonade and he only gets $12. Is there a profit? No, right? Yeah. There is a negative part here. Is what do we call that? Deficit. There is, a, uh -huh, there is a deficit. The deficit is the opposite of the profit. Deficit is when it's red. Okay. So he didn't get he didn't get the money that he spent on. An example. Uh, Sylvester Stallone made a movie that was called Judge Dredd. The budget was $66 million. And uh, the movie worldwide collected $38 million. 38, what's the deficit? Imagine the budget, 66. And the movie grossed only 38. What's the deficit? Mm -hmm. 28. 28, right? They lost, they lost 28. Lost 28. They lost 28 dollars, 28 million dollars. Mm -hmm. So that is, I mean, that is a deficit. Opposite, profit, so over here it says that the profit can be affirmative or positive and negative. Now, if it's positive, it's profit. If it's negative, it's deficit. So it's not the same. Only that this is from the internet, right? Losses. These losses represent money that the business has lost as a result of accounting errors or other causes such as theft, embezzlement, etc. Teacher, what is embezzlement? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it in simple words. Se bajaron a la compañía. Okay, uh, there was, um, there was, uh, how can I say? A person was selling a product. And the, the person said, wow, this product is fantastic, it's wonderful. And the company believed it and invested money that, there. And that was false. It was a fraud. It was a fraud. Okay? They simply, they didn't get the money that you have. Like, okay. So they, they believed the flowers that they threw at them, but it was false. So they lost money because of embezzlement. Okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the definition that appears here. Okay, so that you may have like literally. It 
it says that embezzlement is a crime, obviously. <clears throat> to secretly take money that is in your care or that belongs to an organization or business you work for. Okay, so in Spanish, they say enriquecimiento ilícito, right? By stealing, okay, so that would be the, the meaning here, okay? the embezzlement. Or they stealing, stealing from the company, but not stealing openly. Like uh, some people still like, they make the budget. They say the budget will be like about $200, but the budget is inflated. In reality, they, they spend the uh, $150 and the other $50, they steal it, right? So they are embezzling, they are, that's embezzlement taking money from the company, obviously illegal. Okay, so that would be losses, profits, expenses, income, assets. Okay, other terms, revenue. What is a revenue? Taxes. You have to pay taxes to the government, right? Mm -hmm. But it says here, revenue is the income of a business. It is generated from the sale of products or services. Revenue can be either cash or accrual. Cash revenue is income that is received in cash, such as payment from customers. Accrual revenue is income that is earned, but not yet received, means acreedores, right? So I mean that. You will receive it, but you haven't received it yet. Supposedly you have it. Supposedly you have it, but you haven't been paid yet. Okay. Expenses, we already explained expenses. Balance sheet. The balance sheet has all of the details. It says the balance sheet, also called the statement or financial position, is one of the three key financial statements that businesses use to assess their financial health. It shows the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity of a business at a specific date. What's the meaning? How much you have, how much you have, how much you owe, and the difference. So that's Okay, the, the balance sheet. Okay, so let's see, let's go to the presentation. Okay, financial statements. What we were saying, right, the balance. Financial statements are written records that convey the business activities, that show the business activities and the financial performance of the company. The, the performance is the activity, the financial activity of a company. Why are they so important? Well, you cannot spend what you don't have, right? Who should, who should have access to the financial statement? Who do you think should have access to the financial statement? The owner, the president, the president, right? The manager, mm -hmm. manager, the manager, the manager of the company, the owner of the company. Okay. How can they be used? How can they be used? They can be used to adjust, uh, adjust the budget are just a budget. If you are spending too much, try to lower the expenses, right? So that at the end, you can come clear and pay for everything, okay? 
So that is basically this will be some of the some of the things. Okay, we're going to get to some of the some more of this vocabulary. Let's see. Before we move, what words do you remember? What words do you remember from the ones that we saw? Number one. Asset, asset. Asset. Number two, liabilities. 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 Number three. Equality. Equity. Equity. Equity, right? Equity. Income. Incomes. Income. Revenue. Revenue. Okay. Do you say teacher revenue? Yes. The revenue is the income that a government of company receives regularly. Okay. For example, we pay the revenue. <laughs> we pay the revenue of the government. So for us, it's taxes. For them, for the government, is revenue. Or for the companies, let's say that um, Sergio buys a car, but he has to pay it by sustos, right? That is installment. He's paying $105 every month for the car. $105 every month for the car. Very cheap because it's a Kia Picanto okay? that is uh, not from this year. Okay? He pays $105. Okay. Uh, for him, it's part of the budget, right? He has to pay for that. For the company, that is revenue revenue that they are generating from the sale of the car okay. so revenue so profit revenue income liability assets equity right some of the words that we should remember okay excellent let's continue now yes we're going to practice this conversation, okay? Practice this conversation in pairs. It says, bank teller, uh, good morning, how are you today? Good morning, how are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a savings account? That would be fine, thanks. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I'll deposit $300. I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure you put 150 in each account, please. Okay, again, good morning. How are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a savings account? That would be fine, thanks. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I'll deposit $300. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you put $150 in each account, please. Okay, do you have questions about the any of the vocabulary? Set up, please. Sorry? 
Serapio. 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 An account. It says set up your account, right? But what's the meaning of set up? Uh, to establish establish the parameters, the parameters of the account is to open the account and set up the the parameters. Uh -huh. So that is, I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Means I will get the accounts ready for you to use them, right? Set up, get them ready. Get them ready for you to use, okay? Set up. Any other question? Notice that we have a savings account, no saving account, savings account. Savings is a department where you deposit money. You deposit money, 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 money for you to make it grow for the future, right? That is savings. And the other account is checking account. What's a checking account? An account that when you need to pay someone, you only write out a check. Right? They give you a, a, let's say, how can I say, a passbook, but not only a, a passbook, but one of those checking notes, right? So you can write a check, get it out and give it to someone. Paying for services, paying for products, paying for different things. Now people prefer to use credit cards, right? Or debit cards rather than checks. They were very, checks were very popular in the past, but I don't think that they are as popular now. They are, they exist, but they are less popular. Okay, any other question? No question, teacher. No questions. Excellent. Really? No question. Very good. Okay. Let's see the words that we should pay attention to would be, I'm going to only underline them and then we go to the group. Okay. We have first bank account. Bank account. Checking account. Savings account. Okay. Then deposit. Set up your account. Okay. Basically, these are the words. Only I want to add one word. Withdraw. What is to withdraw? To take out, to take money out from your account. Withdraw. Right? The, the verb is to withdraw or to draw out. Draw out money. Draw out money. What's the meaning? You go to the bank, you present your passbook, and then you say, I want $500. Okay, the lady counts the $500. You have to sign, okay, sign, and they give you the money. That is draw out money. Take money out of your account, right? 
take money out of your account is to draw out money, to withdraw money. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, my friends, let's go to the groups and let's practice the conversation. The groups are opening, please join. Hello, Daniel. Sharing, sharing, sharing screen. Hello. Sharing screen. Thank Hello. you. Okay. Who is that? You are oh. saying dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> you are that okay. and. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, <laughs> uh, good morning. How are you today? Great. Thanks. Hey, how can how can I help you? I like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a savings account? That would be fine, thanks. Uh, in order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $60. I deposit $300. I'll set up, set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you put 50, 150 in each account, please. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks, friends. Ahí estaba Mario, quiero ver. Mario Cristóbal. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mario. ¿Alguien más que le quiera ayudar a Mario? Me me? Okay, okay. Okay. Good morning. How are you today? Great. Great. Okay. Okay, dele, después, después digo. <laughs> <laughs> no, dele, dele. Hombre. Yo sigo después. We're excited. We're excited. <laughs> okay, okay. Pues voy a continuar entonces. <laughs> Vaya, yo comencé. Good morning, how are you today? <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> how can I help you? <laughs> I'd like to open a bank account, please. What thing would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That will be fine. Thanks. In, in order to open this account, you need to deposit a meaning of $16. I will deposit $300. I'll sell you, I'll sell you your account for you right now. Make sure you put a uh, $150 in each account, please. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No sé si okay. van a volver a repetir. Me with someone. <laughs> I am alone, alone. Good morning, how we are you today? We have a, a lady. No. Me, great, okay, good. thanks. How can I help you? <laughs> I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? 
a checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That will be fine, thanks. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I'll deposit $300. Uh, I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure you put $150 in each account, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alguien más? Daniel. Sería Esmeralda. Bueno, empiezo yo y ahí sigue usted. <laughs> In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $16. I will I deposit $300. I will set out your account for you right now. Make sure uh, your puts one thousand fifty one hundred fifty in each account, please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Miguel. Bye. Okay. Hermana, tú y esto, ¿no? ¿Quién más falta? ¿Alguien más que quiere hacerlo? Yo falto, yo falto. Adán y en José Ernesto. Sí, por favor, ahí, ¿con quién? Compañero. Ok, conmigo. Ok, good morning. How, how are you today? Great, thank you. How can I help you? I like to open a bank. Bank accounts, please. Working good to like to open. A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That would be fine. Thank you. In order to open this account, you need to deposit it a minimum of five dollar. I deposit three hundred dollar. I will set up you accounts for you right now. Make sure you put a one hundred fifty dollar in each account, please. Thank you. Thank you. Finished? Yo creo que sí. Ok, let's continue. Let's go to the main group. Main search. Ok, thank you, partner. Okay, now that everybody is ready, let's discuss these questions. Express your opinions. <laughs> Express your opinions. Is saving money important to you? Yes. Yes. 
Why? Saving money is important because I need money for emergency. Emergency. Emergencies. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Other people. Is saving money important to you? The saving money important to me for my children need to start the school. For your children to start school. Okay. How many children do you have, Len? Two. Two children. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The two girls. Two girls. Ah, and they are so sweet, right? Oh. Um, girls are sweet. Una tiene one year and the other is third year. One is one is a baby, it's one years old. And the other is yes. thirteen years old. No, year. Three years old. Oh. oh. I heard you Cheers. say 13 years. Maybe. Sorry. Wow. Yeah. Three uh -huh. years and one year. Three years. Oh, yes. You are beginning. All right. That's good. It's a chaos. <laughs> yeah, but they are, you enjoy them. They are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. Um, that's nice. Excellent. So it's important to save money for them. Somebody else. Is saving money important to you? Why? It's very important, teacher, because for uh, a necessity, for example, a healthy mm -hmm. problem of healthy um, of my daughters or my wife, uh, for the car, <laughs> the car, yeah, and for for a study in the future too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, sometimes some months are good and some months are bad. Okay, so for the months that are good, nice, but for the money that are bad. Uh, Bad months, bad days, we call them rainy days. Rainy days. So, like, uh, what's the, let's say, the, the comparison? Okay, something like a parable. What do you say, like, here? You remember the little, the cicada and the ant? The ants were collecting food during the summer. They were working very hard. And the cicada was dancing, was dancing, singing. Okay. And then winter came. The ants went to their nest and they had enough food to eat. But the cicada didn't have a house and didn't have food. What happened to the cicada? It died. Right? So then, it's an example for us. We save money when there is for when there is a good month. And uh, unfortunately, we have to use it when there are rainy days in bad times. Right? Okay. Excellent. What's the excuse most people make for not saving money? What's the excuse most people make for not saving money. The first teacher mm -hmm. is the, my salary is a no. It's yeah. not a no. My salary is not enough. Yeah, it's true. That is- uh, The nice. inflation? Yes. I don't know the same Inflation. Thing. Inflation. Inflation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because many, things- mm -hmm. Sorry, Jonathan, would you please repeat? We have many commitments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of experiences. <laughs> yes, Jonathan? Maybe I start saving later, the same people? Exactly. Some people say no, today no. Next month. I will start next month. Never. When my salary is higher, I will start saving. <laughs> 
now no things are very expensive so now other teacher uh -huh. other people say i want to enjoy my money now exactly they say we want to enjoy our money now and then months that they don't have money they eat tongue sandwiches right only tongue sandwiches because they have nothing to eat and that is sad right sad imagine someone is sick in the family and you have no money because you didn't always, save always the, person, uh -huh, the person can die right so it's important to save money all right excellent some people spend the money because they want to have a, a big TV screen that they, they never use. Because they are paying for the TV, they cannot pay for Netflix because that would be X. So they have the screen and they don't use it. And at the end, they use the cell phone to watch Netflix. No, not even Netflix because they don't pay that maybe YouTube or other things on the cell phone. So I think that we shouldn't have what we cannot pay for. If we have enough money to pay for, okay, let's buy it. But if we are not going to get money to buy something that we don't need, right? So that we don't go into calamity, okay? So that would be the idea, okay. Is it necessary to be a good administrator? Do you think that it's good to be a good administrator? Yes, teacher, because yes. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, the money is uh, very important for the life. Money is very important for life. You, you know, that is funny. Some families have disintegrated, have broken because of money problems. Yes. Yeah. Lot, the lot no, no alimenta. Doesn't no feed. Sé. Doesn't feed. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, love feeds the soul it's, and feeds it's the It's necessary. Uh -huh. But doesn't give you, doesn't, doesn't put food on the table yes yeah unfortunately so if necessary you demonstrate love working hard and bringing the food for everybody to eat right it's a good lie yeah unfortunately <laughs> it is like that so it is necessary to be a good administrator if you spend all of your salary at the beginning of the month, at the end of the month, you have no money for transportation, for food, or for anything. So you have to walk to work, or you have to ask your partners, can you lend me $20? Can you lend me $20? <laughs> and the month finishes, and you owe money from everybody. So that is sad. That is sad. So, I always say, if you have money, eat. If you don't have money, don't eat. Okay? But don't get into debt. Don't get into debt. Get into debt. Transition is debt. Deuda, debt. Don't get into debt unnecessarily. Debt. Okay, excellent. Now, what happens if you fall into debt? What happens if you fall into debt? Say your salary is $700, and then your debt is $1,000. You're not going to pay it this month. You have to pay some 
some, some until you finish paying. But in the meantime, you will not buy other things. If not, the debt grows, right? So it's, it's difficult. If you fall into debt, you are in trouble. So the best is not to fall into debt. Okay. Well, let's move on. We have another another similar conversation. It says, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit it into? My checking account. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit it into? My checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Or how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit into? My checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Questions about the conversation? Teacher, can you repeat the pronunciation? Deposit it into. To deposit it into. Deposit it. Deposit it into. Deposit it into. Deposit it into. Deposit it okay. into. What account would you like to deposit it into? To deposit it into. To deposit it into. What account would you like to deposit it into? What account would you like to deposit it into? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. That's all. Let's go to the to the groups and let's practice this conversation. The groups are opening. Please join. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Who wants to do it? Gabriela Aníbal. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start. Okay. Go ahead. Good afternoon. No, eso no es. Go ahead. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What can I do for you? 
I like to make a, a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit uh, three hundred dollars. What account would you like to deposit it into? My checking checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Uh, next, friends. Uh, me. Okay. Good I... afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit deposit it into? My checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Next, Kim Falta. Jose? Hola. Hola. Hola, José. Hola, hola. Good afternoon. How can I? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Well, I'd like to make, make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How, can, how much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit uh, three hundred. Mario Mauricio, creo. Okay, Emerald y Mauricio Antonio. Y yo. Yo fui el primero. <laughs> ah, entonces Mario, el otro. Mario, ajá. Yo acabo de pasar con ah. la chica. <laughs> Eso es la Emerald, la falta. Hello. Hello. Si no otra vez empecemos, entonces eso yo. Ok. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit in? in? My checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the main session. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Good job. Okay, they report people out so we can begin doing this.
we have reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. Reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owners' quality at a given point in time. Uh, here is, they say quality, probably they want to say equity. Okay. This is only copied from the book, so just copy it like that. Reports on a company's incoming or incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financing activities. Okay. And four, summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Okay. So let's see which is which. Okay. I'm going to give you some, some minutes together so that you may discuss. Okay. Discuss that with your partners. The groups are opening. You may discuss. You may join. Okay, I see the presentation. Okay. Cash flow report all the same. For companies that people company income in cash flow number three. In my opinion, is number three cash flow. Number three or one? Letter A, cash flow. Number three, report of company incoming about upcoming of cash is operating.
Balan. Balan sheet. What is the meaning balance sheet? Yes, Si sí, sí, sí quedaría. Uh, yes. Y el equity statement. There are six. Letters. Number one. Mm -hmm. One letter, sí. Okay. Excellent. Let's go to the main session. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's see opinions. What, what, which one is number one? Number one is? Equity statement. The equity statement, right? So it's going to be letter C. Yeah, I agree because it talks about the changes in the earnings. Teacher, what is earnings? Earnings are ganancias, earnings. But earnings means that you have worked to get them, earnings. Much money, teacher, much money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What about number letter two? D, letter D. <clears throat> D. Number two is? Letter D. D, letter right? D. D of dedo. Okay, number three. Letter A. A, right? A. Uh -huh. Letter A. And the last one? B. B. Yeah, it's the only letter that is missing. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Nice. Very good. Let's continue. <clears throat> Other questions. Say like this. Is it true? Or what's your opinion? It's not so important to know about the income and outcomes of a company. 
not important, not necessary. It's confidential. <laughs> uh -huh. For who can say this? Is it important for a worker to know this? For, well, let's say not. I'm going to say, is it important for a non-administrative, for non-administrative staff? Is it important to know uh, the incomes and the outcomes of the company? For non-administrative staff, non Okay, we're talking about non-administrative staff. You see, is number one important? He says it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. For non-administrative staff, true or false? True. 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 Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Do you agree with this? Um, okay, let's say this is important to non administrative staff or not? See, mm -hmm. last True. year, the company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Is it important to non-administrative staff? Yes, right. This is important. Why? <laughs> What if you are next? <laughs> what happens if you are next? You're going to be fired. Okay. Let's see. Do you think that firing people is the solution to save the company? Is firing people the solution to save uh, the company? Maybe, right? Maybe. Okay, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. Notice, I will say it in a different way. Mandatory, obligatory. It's obligatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. In relation to a company, you think it's true or it's false? True. Okay. Do we normal cats? No, normal cats, no. Do we normal people invest in the companies that we work? No, right? No, we don't. So in this case, this is false. Now, what about the other one? The company can decide to lay off workers anytime if it needs to do so without informing anybody. Okay, I will say it in a different way. The company can fire anyone 
that they want if they consider it necessary. True or false? It's true. True. It's true, teacher. According to the law, if they are going to fire you, they have to tell you before. They have to inform you. Uh, they can tell you, okay, next month, you are not going to continue with us. So begin preparing another place so you can go. They have to tell you in advance according to the law. Now, do the companies do it? No. They only tell you, okay, here is your money. Thank you very much. We will not continue uh, with your services. So, it's this, true. Uh, that's what people do. But they Maybe. have, they have to. the The company can fire anybody that they want, but they have to inform the person. And here it says without informing anybody. No, they have to inform the the people. They have to tell you in advance for you to prepare. Or the same happens. If you will stop working for a company, it's your obligation to tell the company a minimum of 15 days in advance for them to find your replacement. Right? It's obligatory. So you cannot say, Oh, tomorrow I will not come anymore. Thank you very much for having me. No, right. You have to tell them. Minimum 15 days in advance. So they may know. Okay. They may prepare for somebody. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. We're going to be checking so such so such okay my dear angelitos so so plus no so plus no but so plus an adjective so plus adject, adjective plus that Okay, such. I'm going to put in parentheses a as adjective noun plus that. So What's the difference between so and such? The difference between so and such is the noun. In such, we have a noun. In so, only the adjective, right? Such, and why do we use a? We use a because of the noun. Okay, you may say, teacher, what's the meaning? The meaning is that if the noun is plural, you don't use a. If the noun is uncountable or non-countable, you don't use a. That's why I is in parentheses. You use it only with singular count nouns. Singular count nouns. If you have a non-count noun, no a. If you have a plural noun, no a. OK? 
Okay, let's see. We do have examples here. Before we we continue, this is an introduction to this. Teacher, what's the meaning? Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, thank you. Yes. Tan bonito que, right? Tan mm -hmm, que. Tan mm -hmm, que, right? Thank you. So remember, thank you. You remember, ah, thank you. So that, such that. Okay, an example. The man was so fat, so fat, fatissimo, super fat. He was so fat that he couldn't walk fast. He was so fat that he couldn't walk fast. Very tiny, okay? Now, the boy was so thin, so thin, so, so thin, that you thought he was going to break, right? This is so thin, so thin that you say, no, I don't touch him, it's going to break, right? But so thin, so thin that it's going to break, okay? You say, the night, the night was so hot, so, so hot that I couldn't sleep. The night was so hot that I couldn't sleep. <laughs> the car was so expensive. The car was so expensive that I couldn't buy it. The car was so expensive that I couldn't buy it. No, too expensive. My salary is not enough. So the car was so expensive that I couldn't buy it. The hamburger. The hamburger was so big, so big that I couldn't finish it. Thank you, right? Tan grande que no me lo pude terminar. So big that I couldn't finish it. The hamburger was so big that I couldn't finish it. Okay? We're going to see the examples in a moment. Okay? Other example. People. Happy. Smart. Intelligent. Confident, kind, polite, hardworking, good sense of humor, responsible, had good sense of humor, responsible. So if they have a good sense of humor, they are funny. Okay, funny, right? Responsible, funny, hardworking, polite, kind, confident intelligent, smart, happy. The things, convenient, 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 expensive, expensive, durable, 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 cheap, cheap, useful, useful, good quality, good quality, beautiful, Beautiful, modern, modern, colorful. Okay, so expensive that, so convenient that, so cheap that. Remember, cheap is usually negative. Cheap is bad quality. Cheap is baratija, right? Cheap, something cheap. Bad quality. Teacher, what is barato but good quality? Inexpensive. Something is inexpensive, it's good quality. But usually, when you say, Ah, oh, she gave me a cheap, okay, she bought me cheap perfume, cheap perfume, say bad quality, right? Okay. Let's see. You remember that we use the verb to be, right? With the adjective, noun, and place. Okay? 
adjective, noun, and place. I was at home yesterday afternoon. You were happy after class. He was a teacher all his life. She was busy in the morning. It was in the park under a table. You were soldiers a long time ago. We were hungry at noon. They were at the office all day. Okay, now check the example with such. Okay, check the example. This is so necessary for the company. Okay, we don't have that. We just put it here. So necessary for the company. And the second part is omitted. It is so important to check the reports. It's so important to check the reports. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. Okay. It is such a creative program. Such a creative program. It's such a significant investment. Significant means important. The report was such a useful tool. It was the last product was such a big success. See, now, 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 now. But let's, this is incomplete. Let's check the complete sentence. This book is so interesting that I didn't want to stop reading. Tan interesante que, right? The book is so interesting that I didn't want to stop reading. The child in the picture was so cute that she reminded me of you. The man was so strong, man was so strong that he could pull a huge truck, pull, pull, huge truck. The exercise was so confusing that I couldn't do it. The exercise was so confusing that I couldn't do it. So, only the adjective. So interesting that, so cute that, so strong that, so confusing that. Such, this is such an interesting book. This is such an interesting book that I didn't want to stop reading, okay? She was such a crazy lady, but nobody liked her. She was such a crazy lady that nobody liked her. He was such a friendly boy that he made friends easy. He was such a happy family that they were always smiling. He was such a happy family that they were always smiling. Okay. Let's complete this one. Complete with so or such. Okay. Remember, so plus an adjective. So plus an adjective. Such. Adjective noun. Okay. It is good to know the cash flow. It is what? So important. So important. Excellent. So important. The architect is? Such a creative woman. Such a creative woman. Creative woman. Such a creative woman. OK. Wireless internet access is? Is so, so convenient. So convenient. Excellent. All the inventions were created, all the inventions we created are? So, so popular, right? So, so popular. popular. So popular. Remember, such 
adjective and noun. So only the adjective. The computer was what? Yeah. So, such a signature. So, such. 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 The invention, such. invention is the such. noun adjective. Such. Such. Such, such. a significant invention. Such. Checking your financial statements. Such. Such. So, so, so difficult. So, so, so difficult. difficult before. So. Before is not a noun. Before is time. Okay. Antes, right? Before. Was so difficult before. Okay. The director of the company was oh, yes. so, so, generous. so generous. The projects that we have to do are so, so confusing. confusing. So confusing. The report that we need to write is so, so long. long. So long. Farewell. I'll be there. Say good night. No. Okay. So long. Okay, what you say? It was oh. such a hard day. Such a hard day. Such, such a, hard day. a hard day. Day, noun, hard, adjective. So, such. So, I'm so tired. So tired. I'm so tired. My secretary is. So, say, so absent. Uh, so, Peter, so. What's the meaning of absent minded? Distraída, right? So, absent. -minded. I don't know. Absent minded. My boss is so. No, my boss is. So, an angry. Such, an angry such, man. Such, such, an, an such, angry. such an angry man that angry. I am. So, so frustrated. frustrated. So frustrated. Excellent. Now you're going to go to the groups and match, match this. Okay. This is the last exercise. So That's the groups are opening. Please join and match. Okay. In, in group one, okay, only Edgar is missing. In group two, we're missing Adan, we're missing Edwin Alexis Perez. In group three, only Gisela is missing. All right, so let's speak. <laughs> Ahora sí. Desde el teléfono me está haciendo blanco. ¿Cuál es? Más, más de centro. Más centro. Ok. The quiz was so confusing. The work was so difficult. Maybe. Oh, no. You, you have an example. The quiz was so confusing yes, this. that I couldn't do it. Uh, so B, okay, okay. the work was so difficult that I couldn't pronounce. Number one in the... Uh, one B. In two A, one B, two A. The man was so tall. No, and one a uh, uh, key. Does I got a head 
Shit. ¿La K? ¿La K? ¿Juan en la letra K? No, the quiz is so confusing okay. that I couldn't do it. Let it be. Uh, one yeah. B, two A. And three, what? The man so tall. The man so tall. The man was so tall. Okay. That he could touch the ceiling. The man was so tall that he could touch the ceiling. Right. And the car was so fast. Yes. El carro. Son muchas letras. <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> no. Go bit by bit. Go bit by bit. Okay. Letter D. Yes. Or. And number four, letter C. And number she was such a sweet darling that everybody loved her. Veamos. 13 y 14. That, 13, uh, letter O. That they jumped, jumped from the bridge. Mm -hmm. It was such a crazy moment. I thought it was unreal. It was, so it was unreal. Mm -hmm. It was unreal. It was unreal. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, you're done. Let me go and check number one. See if they already began. <laughs> It's very noisy here. I don't. I don't. I can't concentrate. No, no, no. I think I can. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Como cinta de zapato. Tío fuerte. Y es que muchos me exigen y llegan antes. Night is G A B C. No, teacher, hoy ando bien malita. It was very so difficult. With the pronunciation. Uh, little by little, little by little. Mm -hmm. It Sometimes. was such an interesting game that I played that uh -huh. Toda Noche, tanto que Juaria Toda Noche. She was shoes a sweet darling. That no, 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 no. That everybody okay. loved her. She, uh -huh. she was such a sweet darling that everybody loved her. 
Ah, the everybody loves her. Era tan linda y dulcita. That everybody loved her. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Y este queda así. They were such demented people that they jumped from the bridge. It was such a crazy moment uh, that I thought it was unreal. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the yeah. Let's go to the main session. Okay. Nice. Good okay. job. Okay. Thank you. Thank. You. Teacher, I can't listen. Your microphone, teacher. Microphone is in Yeah, I said, I repeat, by the by Thursday, it is necessary to have uh, the final exam completed. And uh, also all of the homework, right? So let's try to work these first three days. Yes, Adio. Uh, teacher, yo estaba intentando entrar a, a, a la plataforma, pero no me permite ingresar. Uh, no sé si uh, qué tengo que hacer. Primer curso que usted estudie, Marito. Ah, uh, no, no, pero ya intenté, incluso revisé de nuevo el video de, de, de lo busqué en YouTube para ver si yo estaba haciendo algo equivocado, pero no, no, no me permite. Pregunté por uh, el, eh, ahí, eh, un número que me habían mandado o cosas, pero no me respondieron. Siga intentándolo, porque si no lo logra hacer... Yo, porque en esa parte no, esa es la parte técnica. Ellos tienen que ayudarle con eso. Entonces, uh -huh. allí no puedo, o sea, yo, aún yo tengo, a mí me dan acceso para que yo entre. Entonces, no, no puedo conceder yo acceso a alguien. Si no, pues yo con todo gusto le ayudaría en eso. Pero si yo le doy mi acceso, parecería que yo trabajé en, en el ejercicio, no usted, aunque usted lo haga. Entonces no le contaría a usted, entonces por eso no le puedo dar mi acceso. Entonces sigue intentándolo, oye, sigue intentándolo, tienen que darle una respuesta. Voy a poner yo, o sea, ponga, mande un mensaje al grupo y yo lo voy a compartir en, en, con los técnicos para que le den respuesta pronto. Hoy, por favor. Muchas gracias, Tachel. Un placer. Si le puedo ayudar con mucho gusto. Ok. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Yes, teacher. Yes. Blanca teacher. de Carmen Santos. Yes. Present teacher. Yes. Sí, eh, este, fíjese que yo nada más necesitaría ayuda. Yo ya, ya, ya terminé casi todo. ¿no? 
Ajá. de, de los de, de los de las tareas pero hay una tarea que no la entiendo que es la última es la 18 creo Ah, pues, entonces espérese que lleguemos a esa clase para poder hacerlo. Todavía no, no llega. Fecha, no. fecha. Hoy, hoy es clase 16. Ah, ajá, ajá, ajá. Porque, porque sí, la, la única que, que so, a mí me hace falta es esa. La, la no se preocupe. Entonces. Ah, no, perdón. No es la 18, ya le digo cuál es. La 22. La, no, es la 19. Menos todavía. No se preocupe, no se preocupe. Ya vamos a llegar a eso. Sí, porque la 18 sí ya estuvo, ya la, ya la hice. A vos, perdón, adelante. No, no se preocupe. Ya vaya, no, ya me, gusta, módulo, no me gusta que vayan adelantados. Me gusta que vayan adelantados. Denle con todo, hagan lo que puedan. Si no hemos llegado a una parte y no lo entienden, esperemos a llegar a esa parte. Y ah. si pudieron hacer parte de eso, está bien. Pero si no pudieron hacer nada de, ese, de esa tarea, déjenla así. Y vamos a llegar a eso. Pero justo cuando lleguemos a eso y lo entiendan, hagámoslo. ¿Ok? Ok. Que, quedemos en eso. De acuerdo. Okay. De acuerdo, gracias. Tucho. No, gracias por contarme hoy. ¿Okay? <risa> so, eh, Carlos Amílcar Campos. Present teacher. Excelente, nice. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excelente, nice. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Pérez. Present teacher. Excelente. Edwin Alberto Alcón. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Present teacher. Excelente. Nice. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez. Present teacher. Excelente. Nice. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Present teacher. Excelente. Nice. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Okay. Jonathan Stanles Pérez. José Daniel Cermeño. Present teacher, Jonathan Pérez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Okay. José Daniel Cermeño, no. And José Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Andy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present, eh, Mario. Mario, ok, excelente. Mauricio, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Presente. Excelente. Present, nice, very good. Miguel Ángel Cortés. I'm here to show. Excelente, nice. Noé Aníbal González. Present, teacher. Excelente, very good. And Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present, teacher. Excelente. Very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending tonight. We stop here. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you, you for the time. Good night, teacher. My pleasure. Good night. Take care, my friends. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Be good. Concert. Ask concert. Practice this conversation in pairs. Hi, Daphne. How are you doing? Great. How about you? Not bad. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just looking at some pictures. Pictures of what? Last night's concert. You went to it? How lucky. How was it? It was great. In fact, was so good that nobody wanted to leave the venue. 
Wow. Did you take a did you take great great shots? Hardly. It was such a crazy crowd that I could hardly move. So I dis, I didn't take many. Oh, I see. Next time, take me with you. Sure, I promise. We'll have uh, such a great time that, that you will want to do it again. Hi, Daphne. How are you doing? Great. How about you? Not bad. What are you doing? Nothing. Just looking at some pictures. Pictures of what? Last night's concert. You went to it? How lucky. How was it? It was great. In fact, it was so good that nobody wanted to leave the venue. Wow. Did you take great shots? Hardly. It was such a crazy crowd that I could hardly move. So I didn't take many. Oh, I see. Next time, take me with you. Sure, I promise. We'll have such a great time that you'll want to do it 